YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're going to be talking about Tariq Castro Field, the player that the Washington Commanders just put in a claim for. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when new content is posted to the channel. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So the Washington Commanders. Um, as we know, they put out their official or their initial, I should say, 53-man roster. Um, and there were some concerns, especially at the quarterback, cornerback position and the tight end position. Because it was like, you kept four cornerbacks, really? The only depth corner you have in case of an injury um, is Christian Holmes. There's no way you go into the season with just four cornerbacks, right? And there's like five tight ends. Really? Really? You kept five tight ends? But we ultimately understood why they did that just in case they need to cut off some you know cut someone when they need to bring back like chase young or chase really to the active roster they, they can do that without having to cut someone they really wanted to keep in the first place right we all understand that um so with that being said the washington commanders said they weren't done ron Rivera came out and said he was not done you know, making moves and addressing the needs of this team so with that being said the washington commanders went on to sign and will put in a claim for cornerback Castro Fields um from Penn State. Now I just found out that this guy is from PG County. He was uh he's his hometown was Upper Marlboro, Maryland. So shout out to Tariq Castro Fields, you know, represent another PG guy. Um, you know, I love the PG guys. So this is the hometown for us. This is our hometown. So I love anybody that makes it to the league from PG. Um so shout out to him. Uh, now, looking at his, his his draft profile, he ran a 4-3-8. Um, a lot of Washington fan pages out there saying he's a stud and we got a steal. Um, but he was cut from the 49ers, and there is a reason why. He was a six-round pick. Um, and watching a little bit of his film before coming on here, he does, you know, he, he does have a really, really good, good, good tackling for him. Like, he, he tackles well. And that's the thing that, that really jumps off the screen once you watch him. Now, I really didn't see too much of them attacking him as far as, you know, pass coverage goes. So I didn't really get to see how he is as a pass coverager per se. Um, I got to watch a little bit more on that. But I know he's quick to go to the ball. He, he finds the ball and he goes downhill. He's a really, really, really good tackler. So maybe we use him. As, as probably like, you know, some depth in case he makes the roster. But right now, he'll more likely than not probably make the practice squad and have to work his way up. But we'll see as far as that. But I'm excited about this, man. And I'm excited about anything we do as the quarterback position just because we need help there. Again, outside of Benjamin St. Juice, Kendall Fuller, and William Jackson, you have nothing but Christian Holmes. And it's no way you go into the season with just that being your depth. And if you do, you're setting yourself up and your team up for failure. Now, when you look at some of his positives on his his draft profile it says he's really he's really good at you know being versatile and he can play in any any scheme really he's able to you know drop back in coverage fast he's able to come down on the ball really really fast and obviously he's a good tackler now one of his main positives is that he missed six games in 2020 due to an injury um and he's really really you know handsy at times um when he is playing so that's some of his ne uh, negatives here but again, I think his positives really outweigh his negatives. There aren't a lot of negatives when it comes to him. Again, it says he's big, long, and can run. He's praised by staff for his football intelligence. Um, traits provides decent scheme versatility so he can play in anything. Uh, pedals, and he's he's smooth and fluid. Now, you look at some of his weaknesses. Again, he says an impatient leaner rather than slider uh, to match his release. Lacks stickiness to the route at the break point. Um, and also that he... Uh, He's not really a good zone coverager, and he's also um, had a major injury in 2020. So, again, in my opinion, the, the weaknesses or the things that scares you, uh, out, uh, it does not outweigh those terms. You know, this guy, according to a lot of fans out there, is a stud, um, and I'm interested to see what he can do. I'll watch more of his film as, as the days progress, but looking, just glancing at his film before coming on to the show today, um he's a really really good tackler that that's what that's what jumps out on the screen i mean he had a play versus kentucky where he came down he sniffed out the screen made a huge tackle for about a loss of uh five so shout out to him man again another pg county product you know i love my pg county products putting on for the hometown man so shout out to him um but yeah we put in a claim for Tariq. Castro Phil. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Now let's get to the other part of the video. I wanted to talk a little bit about some veteran cornerbacks that I think the Washington Commanders could possibly go out there and get. Um, because 
we need help desperately at the cornerback position again. And that's why they went to get a Castro Fields, you know. Um, but there's some veteran guys that I would like to see us get. And more likely than not, we won't get them because, you know, Ron Rivera, for some reason, he does not like going after the big names. But Joe Hayden's a guy out there. He's another PG County product. And he's also a guy that made some serious, serious noise in this league. And, and I think he can come in and fit perfectly for what we do. He, he's, he's much older, so he's probably lost his step. But he can come in here and teach the young guys the ropes, man. He can teach um, the young guys guys what to do and he can also come in here and still play you know you got other guys uh, still available you got um guys like logan ryan who's who's pretty solid these are guys that made noise and it's way better than what we have as depth here on the roster we're not asking them to come in here and play a major role but washington is the type of team to instead of going to get a joe hayden or a logan ryan they would probably stick with a dewan neal or something like that even a trey waynes wouldn't be terrible um, but we just need depth. We need help badly at the cornerback position, man, because we're suffering there. Um, you got A.J. Boye, Terrence uh, Mitchell. Jimmy Smith is still out there, even though he's like 34 years old. He, he's still out there. Kevin King, a young guy, still available. Janoris Jenkins, Jack Rabbit, Chris Harris. There's, so there's some some guys out there I wouldn't mind getting. Um and I think we need to possibly look at these veteran guys. Again, I un understand Ron Rivera's philosophy. He tries to, you know, go ahead and go with the young guys and, and stuff like that. But we need to have some type of veteran presence um, in, in behind, you know, the starters, obviously, um, in, that, in that group and in that locker room, man. Because I'm not comfortable with if... Benjamin St. Juice goes down. If if um if William Jackson goes down, if Kendall Fuller goes down, knock on wood, right? Um, but if one of those guys goes down, then you what are you stuck with? Christian Holmes, not comfortable with that, you know. As much as a lot of people like Tariq Castro Fields, how comfortable are you with him going out there? And that's even if he makes this roster, right? So I, I'm I'm still. You're not, not at ease with this cornerback position, but we'll take it a day at a time. I think Ron Rivera is going to look at some other players, uh, other teams' rosters as he continues to do that, like with the cash field. He looked at the 49ers, and so that they um, released him, plucked him um, above their roster, and he'll continue to do that, and I'm fine with that. I just need some depth, man, because, again, I'm not comfortable with just having four cornerbacks on this roster, and they know that, right? They know that, so that's why they're going to be addressing that as the days go on. So my trust is fully in Ron Rivera. Um, he hasn't stirred me wrong yet, man. So yeah, there you guys have it. The Washington Commanders have claimed Tariq Castro Fields, another PG County native. Um, he's a former six round pick of the San Francisco 49ers. Very fast, ran a 438 at the combine. And let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hello to the Washington Commanders. Subscribe, please. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. My peace. Uh, cross me one time, that's gonna get you pop Get you pop, uh, uh, get you drop uh, uh, Slide on the one where they get you rocked on uh.